Today on MTG, I'm Pat, we're continuing our journey through the old bundles and fat packs with Scars of Mirrodin. So this is all the way back from 2010, so about 12 and a bit years old at the time of filming. So you get eight boosters in here and a whole bunch of other goodness. And be warned, there are Phyrexians on board. Uh, this set actually still has a ton of value, especially in the common and uncommon slot. Uh, the big hits here, we've got Mox, Opal, Worm Coil, Engine, Black Cleave, Cliffs, Sea Chrome, Clo Coast, Platinum, Empyreon, and more. So we'll keep our eyes out for those. And of course, the Player's Guide, we'll be taking a look at that later in the video. And let's see what this poster looks like. So we have actually opened this set on the channel before, but only the booster boxes. So we got into the entire block, and here we go. Unfortunately, ripped things, but I think that's Skitherix. We've got the Platinum Imperion giant uh, lizard creatures. So that is awesome. And we've got an odd little box at the bottom here. Some nice box artwork, Scars of Mirrodin. And again, we've got these things here. And a Planeswalker novel sample chapter, Test of Metal. Okay, so that's something they don't do anymore. We'll take a look at that later as well. I think that's everything in there. So let's grab a spin down and take a look here. So where is it? The set symbol. Let's roll a lucky 7, 11, close enough. Hopefully we are not cursed. All right, so let's see. Four packs here. And we do have a land pack, we'll take a look at that nearer to the end of the video. And looks like some sort of flyer thing. Um, yeah, okay, the usual one of those, we'll look at that as well later. But first, we must get to pack cracking Scars of Mirrodin. Let's go, I think the last time I opened anything from this set was when we travelled through Magic History, we opened every set from Commander Legends going all the way back to Antiquities. So there's a whole playlist for that. Link in the corner in case you missed that. So getting started here, we have Plague Stinger, Lumen Grid Drake, Origin Spellbomb, Flameborn Hellion, Copper Mirror, Untamed Might, Bladed Pinions, Oxada Daredevil Goblin Artificer. Nice to see the goblins represented here. Golden Urn Necropede for the Uncommons. Rusted Relic Dispense Justice and Molten Psyche is the rare. Along with a Plains and a Goblin Token. Love it. That is awesome. Oh, and a Foil Strider Harness. Okay. You don't often find foils in these old sets. These packs are getting a bit tough to open as well. Let's see what we got in the second one here. Glint Hawk Idol. So artifacts. There's a huge artifact theme in this set. Lumigrid Drake, Ferivore, Valdarkin, Surtarch, Strider Harness, Steady Progress, Nihil Spellbomb. I think that's been reprinted before. Dross Hopper, Melt Terrain, Echo Circlet, Oxida Scrap Melter, okay, that's interesting. Volition Reigns, Carrion Call, I like the pun there, and Grand Architect is the rare, along with a Swamp and a Poison Counter, okay, so Poison Mechanic in this set. Really like the pack artwork as well. Looks pretty schnaz, very premium looking. With the gold at the top and the bottom as well. We've got a Plague Stinger. Blade Tribe Berserkers, Iron Mere, Shatter. Tail at Jalad Defiance. Screeching Silcor, Oxeda Daredevil. 
Psychic Miasma, Razor Field Thrasher, Belated Pinions, and Thrumming Bird for the Uncommons. That's cool. Barrage Ogre, Memnite, I've seen that one before as well. And Tempered Steel is the rare, along with a Forest and Poison Counter. So were you playing Magic in 2010 when this set came out? What do you think? I think there's a lot of people, this is one of their favourite sets of all time. Okay, next we have Flameborn Hellion. Silvok Replica, Moriok Reaver, Volshock Heart Stoker, Corpse Cur, Artifact Creature Hound, that's a weird looking one. Dross Hopper, Copperhorn Scout, Nihil Spellbomb Glimmer Post, Kaldotha Rebirth, Abuna Acolyte, so we've got the Cat Clerics here as well, Dark Steel Axe, Mere Smith, and a Mythic, yes, Lux Cannon, fantastic pull. Actually, I'm not sure if that's a lower end Mythic or not, but we'll sleeve it anyway. An Island and Mere Token. Okay, so grabbing the sleeves. So one Mythic, anytime you get a Mythic in a bundle, that's pretty good odds. Okay, so four to go, halfway through. So yeah, you won't often get a Mythic is what I'm trying to say. Um, you can sometimes get up to five, which we had in Ravnica Allegiance. That was a crazy bundle, link in the corner to that one. We have Bonds of Quicksilver, Gold Mirror, Instill Infection, Bleak Coven Vampires, Shatter. Panic Spellbomb, Copperhorn Scout, Black Cleave Goblin, Goblin Zombie, that's pretty horrifying, Necro Gen Sensor, Melt Terrain, Abuna Acolyte, again for the Uncommons, Dark Steel Axe, Contagion Clasp, and Contagion Engine is the rare along with a Planes and Poison Counter. Alright, three more packs to go. So even though there is a ton of value here, you're usually not going to get that back these days. These uh, boxes are just so expensive. Okay, we have Gold Mirror, Ferivore, Galmer's Warden, Soliton, Revoke Existence, Copper Mirror, Volshock Heartstoker again, Nurok Invisiment, so Wall of Tangle Cord. Golden Urn, Golem's Heart for the Uncommons, Necrogen Scudder, Glimmer Point Stag, and Azuri Renegade Leader is the rare. All right, and a Swamp and Insect Token. So two more packs. So of this block, which set is your favorite? We've got uh, Scars and Mirrodin, Mirrodin Besieged, and New Phyrexia. And judging by the box prices, I'm guessing New Phyrexia is the most popular. Definitely a lot of cool hits in that one. We have Ferivore, Silver Mirror, Perilous Mirror, Bleak Coven Vampires, Steady Progress, Nihil Spellbomb, Dross Hopper, Melt Terrain, Echo Circlet, Dark Slick Drake for the Uncommons, Trigon of Thought, Palladium Mirror, Continuing the Mirrors, and Livewire Lash is the rare. I don't think I've ever seen that card. And a Forest Poison Counter, and a Foil Culling Dice. Nice. Okay, one more pack to go, and then we'll take a look at the other goodies here. Really enjoy going through these old bundles and fat packs, which were way before I started playing Magic, which was actually 2017 with Armin Kett. Okay, so this final pack here, we have Blight Mamba, Silvok Replica, Fume Spitter, Nurok Replica, Vidalcan Surtark, Dross Hopper, Copperhorn Scout, Nihil Spellbomb, Glimmer Post, Kaldotha Rebirth, and Infiltration Lens for the Uncommons, Slice in Twain, Grafted Exoskeleton, and a Mythic, yes, Geth, Lord of the Vault, there's an iconic card for you, and an Island, 
and rules tip imprint. Okay, so sleeving him up. Two mythics. This is a fantastic bundle. All right, so let's take a look at the lands here. I know a bunch of people like to see the old artwork on the lands because it is fantastic, quite honestly. So let's see what we've got here. So we have a mountain, forest, plains, island, swamp. Okay, different artwork. Mountain, forest, plains, island, swamp. And I think now we're repeating yeah, so it's all the same after that point. All right, so some cool artwork there. And then this thing, they should do this again. Uh, this is like a huge fold-out poster thing of all magic stuff. Rule the multiverse, how to play. So what you need, you need a deck and dice and so forth. Here's the rarities. And then we've got this cool scene here with some planeswalkers. Jace, Liliana, Chandra, Ajani, Garrick. And here is the game board, how you're laying stuff out. So that really helps you picture everything. And then on the other side, we have some more detail here. How to play Getting Started Your First Game. So lots of useful info there, combat, and we've got attacking and blocking along with a combat example. And then casting spells, turn order. We've got parts of a magic card, so they're pointing out the different areas here, so that's very helpful. If you're new to the game, card types, so it tells you about that, and then they have this big glossary over here so a whole lot of different terms that you might want to become familiar with okay so we'll set that aside and take a look at the planeswalker novel excerpt so we've got a oh, a bit of an ad here for zendikar as well so sample chapter so just a bit of light reading, Matthew Stover is the author, available October 2010, Planeswalker Tezzeret. Okay, so that's cool. And then the player's guide, this is my favourite part here, I wish they still did this. So you get some lore and background here, Under Five Suns, tells you about Mirrodin. Uh, return to a Gleaming World, so some more lore, there's that Memnite thing. And Phyrexia Rises, and I believe Phyrexia may be making a comeback. We've seen little peaks of Phyrexians in the last few sets. We've got Ventsa, first of his kind, so some more lore. Koth, Champion of the Hammer Tribe. Wasn't there a Venza versus Koth dual deck, I think? Not sure if we open that one or not. We've got Elspeth here. So some background on Elspeth. And then the 10 coolest Scars of Meriden cards. We've got Koth of the Hammer, Mox Opal, Blight Mamba, Venza the Sojourner, Memnite. So we pulled that one. What else? We've got Lux Cannon. So we pulled that. Quicksilver, Gargantuan. Geth, Lord of the Vault, got that one as well. Platinum Imperion and Engulfing Slagworm. So good to see we got some of the hits here. Your journey has begun into the card encyclopedia. So this is what we used to do uh, before Scryfall, before Mythic Spoiler. You would have to go through the card catalog here. I guess they had the Gatherer um, Magic Online thing. But uh, this is the easiest way to do it. Just pop it in your lap, do some reading, research on the different cards. So we've got a bunch of artifacts near the end here, looks like. So very cool to see everything laid out like this. You can go hunting for certain cards. And then we got on to the lands at the end. And then a card checklist which continues. Holy moly, there's a lot of cards in this set. 
And that wraps it up. Discover Friday Night Magic at wizards.com FNM. Okay, so there we have it. Scars of Meriden. Leave a note in the comments what you think about this set and are there any bundles you would like to see in future openings. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Music